Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to my video talking about some of the most useful hidden features on iOS 8. Now these features were not really talked about or emphasized during the keynote, so today I will show you some of my favorite ones. Of course, right now I'm running on iOS 8 Beta 1 and I have experienced a few bugs or glitches and some crashes. So if you decide to install iOS 8 Beta 1, make sure that you don't install on your main device. I have it on my iPod Touch, which I don't really use very often. So the first few features that Apple did not really talk about are some camera features. First of all, you can shoot time-lapse videos. So if you have the iPhone 5S, you can do slow motion videos and time-lapse, which is a very nice addition. Aside from the time-lapse feature, they also added a timer to the photo mode. So you can have a 3 second or a 10 second countdown before snapping a photo. It's a feature that you can find on most other devices, so I'm glad that Apple finally added a timer to the camera app. Another feature is very useful in my opinion is that after focusing on a subject, you can still manually adjust the exposure. Before, if you tap to focus on an object, it's also going to automatically adjust the exposure. So finally, we can manually adjust the exposure. Moving on to the next feature, let's go into Settings, General, Accessibility, and let's go into the Zoom option. So if you have trouble reading text or smaller text on your iPad or even your iPhone, you can enable this to have a magnifying glass. So you can drag it around, change the size, and it's easily accessible. The next feature is in Safari. So if you browse the web a lot, you know that some of the mobile optimized websites are not really well designed and you don't really get used to it. Well, now you can access the full website by tapping on the URL bar and swiping down and you get the option to request desktop site. So now on CNN.com, it's a full desktop website. And if this is something that you prefer using over the mobile optimized website, then this definitely is a very useful feature for you. All right, moving on to the next feature, let's go into settings, general usage, and you can check your battery usage. Right now I have nothing because I just fully charged my device. After using your device for a few hours, you can check here and you can check the battery usage by percent of each application. The last few features are some Siri improvements. By saying Siri, what song is this? and playing the song afterwards, it's going to use Shazam to identify the name of the song. So if you love music and you heard a song that you really like, but you don't know what the song name is, you can simply ask Siri and it's going to identify the song name. And you can tap on the song to access iTunes and you can purchase the song. For the next feature, you have to make sure that you are charging your device. Basically, you can say, hey Siri, without having to hold on to the home button to activate Siri. So you can simply use your voice to activate Siri without having to do anything. But the only downside is that your device has to be charging for this feature to work. So this concludes my video showing you some of my favorite and the most useful hidden features on iOS 8. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what's your favorite feature on iOS 8. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in my next video.